Well, during a Minnesota summer, there is no shortage of beautiful scenic views. So how about one from thousands of feet straight up in a hot air balloon? In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lortzen shows us how Amit's hot air balloon rides can take you from one state to another. Sunrise on a June morning. And much like the balloons they'll be riding in, a group of early risers has gathered in Holton, Wisconsin. They're ready for takeoff with the hope of crossing state lines and landing somewhere near Stillwater. So I got up at uh, five after three, picked my dad up at 3.30, and uh, I made the comment in the van when we were on our way out here that I don't even get up this early to go fishing. Instead of catching walleyes, they'll catch a glimpse of the St. Croix Valley and a wave that's rarely seen. After a gentle release into the atmosphere, pilot Scott Ahmet takes over. My office up here, it, it's, uh, it's a pretty nice place to be. You know, we're really just kind of exposed to it here in the St. Croix Valley because some of the pioneers in ballooning are from this area in the early 60s is really when it kind of took off in this area, and that's really where it took off in the whole country. He's been doing this for 35 years, powered by propane. Ahmed takes us 4,000 feet above the river. The balloon itself is made of fire and tear-resistant nylon. It's large enough and colorful enough to be seen from miles away. From inside the basket, you quite literally get a bird's eye view. There's no better way to see the St. Croix Valley with the two bridges there and downtown Stillwater. Do you ever sneak up on people? It's so quiet up here and oh, peaceful, yeah, we've, which we've, we've established, but yeah. how often do you sneak up on someone? We've caught some people in their backyard pool that thought it was private. <laughs> That's all we'll say about that. Exactly. There's no engine noise, but also no steering wheel. So Scott uses the wind and his burners to change altitudes. Yep, I can hear it. Definitely straight out of the south up here. Touching down is another story. Off of uh, uh, 96. Open fields and even backyards serve as landing zones. And now I'm just dumping hot air out the top so we don't go any further. He gets permission from the homeowner before he packs up. But even then, the ride isn't over. After being lighter than air, it's tradition to have a champagne toast. Should we have a toast of a beautiful morning yes, and a safe yes. flight? Up and back down again safely. Any flight we can walk away from this is a is good This is customary, flight. right? Oh yes, it's, it's tradition. What happens if we don't do this? Well, it's bad luck if we don't do champagne after the flight. We can't take any chances. From Holton, Wisconsin to Stillwater, Minnesota, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. And Scott says conditions have to be perfect to go up in a balloon. Winds have to be very light and there can't be any rain or bad weather in the area. For more information on Amit's hot air balloon rides, including pricings, just go, to, go over to WCCO.com.